Tiger? Ti hi. What? You've, you've heard about my golfing? Really? Really? And, and you'd like to golf with me? I'd love to golf with you. Yes, yes, I can be free Friday at noon. Yes. Wow, thanks, Tiger. I'll meet you there. I'm looking forward to it. I didn't see you there. Welcome to Life Starts at Retirement. And as you can hear, part of my retirement is golfing. Now, another part of it is my videos. I upload a video every Monday at 1226 p.m. Mountain Time that will help make your retirement remarkable. And on the first Monday of the month, the video will be a money mini money minute Monday video where I share with you a money tip in 10 minutes or less. Today's video is the number one thing I wish I knew before I semi-retire. Now, I left my real job in 2007 when I was only 45 years old. And then I started, I opened up my own business as a mortgage broker just prior to leaving my job. And then I worked really hard. I wanted this to succeed. So although my office was 11 steps across the hall, I was in the office every single solitary day by eight in the morning. And I often didn't leave that office until after five. But it really was such a big change from working and being told what to do every day to having to decide myself what to do, how to find clients, how to do the paperwork, how to market myself. Really, I, I was free to decide whatever I needed to do. That was a huge change. I needed to learn, I needed to change my mental thoughts from employee to business owner and how to make money. And then in 2017, I made a big change in my business. And that's where I decided to focus on just private lending. So I no, no longer work with banks. I no longer work with credit unions, any of those institutions. I simply provide private mortgages. I have a group of individuals that want a great, secure investment that will lend their money and have it secured by real estate. In essence, they're the banks. So, But with this change of business, I also decided to semi-retire. I didn't quite need to work as hard as I had been, and I wanted to spend some more time with my grandkids and spend some more time traveling. But that's easy to say. Something was really preventing me from doing this. I wish I had understood this when I first semi-retired because it really would have made the transition that much easier. You see, I suffered from what I call this horrible disease of workaholicism. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure that's not a word, but I still suffered from it just the same. I felt guilty when I wasn't at my desk at 8 a.m. I felt guilty if I babysat the grandkids during the day. I felt that I needed to be at my desk from eight until five every single day. That's how I was brought up. That's what what made me me. That's what I had done for at least 35 years. And I, I really didn't know how to stop doing that. Now, five years later, I'm a recovering workaholic. My workaholic anonymous meetings are often held on a golf course or better yet with hugs and laughter and playing with my grandkids. I can even go now a day or two without being in the office. But in an average week, I'll spend 20-ish hours at my desk. Every once in a while, I feel guilty or something keeps me awake at night. But then I just give myself permission to not work. Now, I've discovered that I'm not alone in my workaholicism and that many, many, many newly retired people struggle with this as well. So even though we've worked our whole entire lives to enjoy our retirement, we often struggle and don't know quite how to relax and let go. Because after 30-ish or 40 years of being busy every single solitary day, the freedom although what's welcome is so different and oftentimes it's really, really hard 
to get used to. So I have a couple of bits and pieces of advice for you. So number one would be, um, first know it's perfectly, perfectly normal to feel guilty and to feel uncertain and to feel a little bit concerned about it. Give yourself some time to get used to a different routine. Now, second of all, I highly recommend joining groups, joining clubs, taking classes, be going to meetups, where you'll meet different people and, uh, and begin having fun instead of work. And usually if you're busy and having fun and meeting people, you'll forget about the feeling of being guilty. And then last, if that isn't quite enough, if you still need that purpose, if you still want to be even busier, then don't feel bad. Go get a part-time job, maybe start your own business, something you've always wanted to do, and slowly transition into more and more of retired life. That is a perfectly acceptable, in fact, more common way of transitioning into retirement than it ever has been. So it's often been said, however, that being busy and having fun in retirement will add 10 years to your life. And I fully agree with it. That's why we make retirement remarkable. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps to get these videos out to more and more people, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And please join me on my Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash life starts at retirement. The links are in the description below. I'm Maureen Dabransky and this is Life Starts at Retirement.